Good morning, this is Professor James Luby. I'm going to make a real quick recording of how to use the Windows snipping tool. So let me get a screen share going here. And here's my Microsoft Windows environment. I am running this in a virtual machine, by the way. We'll get to that later. So first, I'd probably want to take a picture of something. So I'm going to open the a terminal shell command line interface to the ACAD NX server. So ACAD NX .hvcc .edu port 22 everything looks good. Open. Here's my terminal. Okay, that Putty is providing me. Log in as I provide my username. Type in the password, and of course you will not see the password as I type. Um, and of course this occurs when you're doing a password change. We know that. So just to demonstrate, of course, I'll give the clear command. You see my prompt, my username at acadnx, the colon, the tilde, and the dollar sign prompt. That'll be standard. I'll just do a clear. So there we go, I cleared my screen. So we want to take a picture, a screenshot of just the terminal. Why? Because if you take a print screen of the entire screen and then put it into a document, the resulting font size is, is tiny. It's very difficult to see. It's very difficult for me to grade, but also provide assistance and any guidance. So I'm now going to go to the Windows Start menu here. I clicked on it. And I'm just going to write type, start typing snipping, snipping tool right there. Okay. And it'll come up. And it's already waiting for me to capture something. So I'll move this out of the way. And you'll see a crosshairs. And I'll depress the mouse and then create a rectangle of what I want to capture. Now, noting I'm missing that first j.luby, so you'll have to capture a little bit more. Um, and I probably want to copy this, right? I'll go to edit, copy. So I'm going to copy that last snip I took. And I'll open up Microsoft Word. In a blank document, just, just you know, for demonstration's sake. Now, typically what I do here is type A, you know, this exercise something, right? So I do this and typically I will hit return several times and then move the cursor and put it back up here. Just, it just makes things easier. And I could go and use the edit or excuse me, that the paste, but I know that paste in windows is control V that keystroke combo. So I hit control V and there it is. And of course I left myself some room so I can again, continue to add more screenshots. And of course, when I save this, I'll name it properly. Last name, first name, say this is LL2B, you know, and then save as Adobe PDF. It must be in a PDF format. So let me close this. I don't want to save the changes. Now I'm going to do one other thing here. You see my snipping tool is still down here in the taskbar. I'm going to right click it, okay, or, or if you just have a mouse with a single, you know, button on it, you can do control click. And I'm going to pin this program to the taskbar, right? So I don't have to continually go back to my start menu and type in and search for snipping tool. Now it's here. And I may even drag it down here so it's next to my putty icon. So of course in Mac, you don't need this. Mac, it's built in with a Control Command 4, excuse me, Shift Command 4 um, in Mac, you get that cursor and you can just highlight and take a screenshot of just the terminal. So I hope this helps. Thanks again, and I'll post this immediately.